every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing said the compressed coffee from that day the creative dimension of the prophetic there must be a performance because Are we together? You already know, not by revelation, by wisdom that your wife is going to suffer. You know that your children are going to suffer. How do I know that there is no plan? Dotham was became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord. You are not preparing your way. There can't be greatness. Don't be too quick to show forth prepare everybody say prepare prophesy to yourself say myself prepare myself be competent myself work on yourself hallelujah prepare. don't make noise don't take this colleague mentality moving around i used to know you pastor femi we are fellow pastors colleague mentality is the key to the undoing of many people oh we were classmates the same class the same university the same this the, we are both doctors we are both professors no 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 the bible says one star different from another in glory say in the name of jesus there is a, an ability say there is a gift within me that is greater than Zaria, greater than Nigeria. There is an intrinsic value within me that can bless me, that can bless the kingdom, and I will search it out. Hallelujah. There is an intrinsic value. Now, intrinsic value has to do with value that is inherent. The only thing you do is to develop it, is there. I'll give you an example intellectual property. It's an intrinsic value. You don't refrigerate it. You don't warm it. You don't keep it in a safe, in a bank. It's there, it's there. You've trained your mind, intelligence, intellectual property is there. He's playing this keyboard now. This is intrinsic value. It's value within him. Value that does not depend on the external environment for its performance. Are we together now? A photocopy machine is not an intrinsic value. The machine needs a demand. The machine needs a lot of things. The machine needs light. Are we together? The greatest way to rise is to work first on your intrinsic value. You have the grace to sing, work on it. You are an entrepreneur, work on it. Don't say I'm a CEO. CEO that is not producing results is a sign to sit down say I'm a potential CEO there are people moving all around with complimentary cards and flattering themselves I am this and that and that I'm into real estate agro allied products and so on and so forth we have branches in, in, in Ghana Benin Republic, Port Harcourt Lagos and so on and so forth and you look at the person who is talking you ask him sir what do you know about real estate? Say, look, that's not the most important thing. Me, I'm telling you, my father did it. He gave me, and he has one plot of land somewhere. You see, we, we mock ourselves. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. Packaging without content is like a balloon. You hold a balloon and claim that the balloon is, is a metal. You will just touch it and it will burst. I sing better than many people who are called into the music ministry. Yet, they want me to buy their album. No. I told you last week, there are many people who claim they can cook. They have restaurants. Are we together? And you start bullying people and say, ah, shouldn't you come and eat in my restaurant? I saw you the other day. Ella, you should come to my restaurant to eat. Are we not fellow koinonia people? She wants to be healthy. She wants to be healthy. And as far as it is concerned, you have not worked on yourself.
one of our school of ministry ladies uh, um, she made one beautiful work just a beautiful artwork the students saw it I mean she's here very fantastic artwork and when I saw it I said my goodness this is excellent I told her improve yourself and monetize your value monetizing your value is the last thing you do when it is flawlessly competent then you place a price on it are we together now I want everybody to write write three things you know God has put in you that must be developed and deployed please write it down young old write it down type it right do whatever it is please write it down don't flatter yourself don't write what you don't have just patiently think and you'll find your own don't just write because your neighbor wrote something value value Aaron is here he handles most of the logistics of the you know people around different kinds of logistics why because he's worked on himself and he's still working on himself the other day I went to his house and I saw a blackboard close to his uh, just a little like dining or thereabout and his little office that he has and I saw him writing goals I saw targets I saw plans of action I said this is excellent this person is going to go far please do not think discovery simply means it is worthy of reward that you have discovered a thing does not mean they will reward you it must be developed to the highest level of excellence and then communicated with integrity communicated with discipline and communicated with the anointing hallelujah I met a pastor and the pastor told me something he said man of God if you is quite an elderly man he said if you continue going the way you are going you are going to have such an exceptional ministry I said thank you sir I intend to and that's why I seek people like you to add to my life I am not ashamed of my ignorance I'm not ashamed of my limitations and the thing that I do not know there are many things I do not know I know some but there are many others if I knew them I would not be where I am and I humble myself to seek for knowledge I see the way people trivialize knowledge and trivialize the sacrifices of others are we together you call somebody you perceive to be valuable and then you tell the person when can I come and meet you or when can you come and meet me and the person says why he say I have a business proposal I want us to rob minds together sit down with your broke bad attitude and you will never rise never never rise there's so many people who do that why am I challenging you I want you to rise beyond the recession You've heard the testimonies of people. This money has not flown anywhere. This greatness has not flown anywhere. The concept of recession to an individual is a mirage. Hear me. Please hear me. I understand business. I'm not daft. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm saying. The concept of recession is not supposed to be explained from an individual platform. It is when you look at the economy territorially societally then you can say based on the GDP of a nation based on certain indices a nation when it does not meet certain things then there is a, a recession there is inflation or whatever it is but not an individual there has been no time in the Bible where famine affected everybody there were there, there has always been exemption those who offer value are the ones who are exempted please hear me what gives you the justification that between today Friday and next Friday something would have entered your hand or I'm not necessarily just saying money somebody would have acknowledged the fact that God is using you to bless him my life has been transformed what value do you have you see the anointing does two things it activates something within you that was not there and amplifies something within you that is there it activates something within you 
that was previously not there or introduces a better word introduces something within you that was not there like the healing grace right like revelation the capacity utterance but then it also amplifies something within you that is there like creativity like leadership like your gift so number one your encounter with God that produces a fear of God in you number two a transformed mind transformed beyond your cultural limitations number three the discovery and the development of your abilities your value please do not forget this greatness wealth any kind of achievement in the kingdom is based on a reward system it's not just the issue of the will of God the issue of the will of God as far as our greatness is concerned is not a mystery it is clear in the word I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 and the 11th chapter thoughts of good and or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I commanded this day right that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you there is always a part you have to play there is a part that I have to play huh Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law he says shall not depart from out of thy mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then he says then only then shall thou make thy way prosperous and you shall have good success success that does not steal away the time of your family success that does not steal away your life are we together thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media Oh, mm -hmm.